Hi, thank you for visiting Varian. My name is Vari, and if this is your first time being here, then a sub and a like to the channel would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those people out there, those people that's been donating through Saweria, I thank you very much. I wish you well on whatever it is that you're doing. And also my YouTube members, thank you. Giveaway coming soon just for you. And let's begin the video by looking at the main menu with this um, cyborg that will always welcomes you while you are about to begin the game and give you a little bit of a recap. And as you can see, the graphic of this game is just plain amazing. I mean, look at that. And it's not even it's not even the ultra preset that I'm using here because I'm streaming it while um, I was I was playing the game. So what can I say about this game? This game, as I mentioned in my thumbnail, it's a narrative masterpiece. I mean, come on. I'm so grateful that this is the first game, the first narrative games that I tried. So now I have kind of a high standard in narrative games that uh, other, other developers might present out there. Uh, I keep on forgetting the name of this actor um he's on many us television series i kept on forgetting but i really like the way the guy presented here so what is it about narrative games that uh, that is addictive what are the elements that keep uh keep keep on getting getting it to you so first of all of course you could make uh you could make decisions that will affect the whole progress in game uh, you might be getting some spoilers here and there, but your experience of playing this game probably going to be different than mine. So uh, uh, that, that said, it, it means that these kind of games will have high replay value, especially if a great if it's a great one, because there, there is a main story, a main line to be followed. But still, the effect, the responses, the reactions of NPCs, of people that are con uh, con having conversations or interacting with the main characters will always be different or possibly different. What I'm doing right now, as you can see in, in my gameplay, is that I'm trying to convince people around me to listen to me, to follow my steps. I'm trying to take a... It, it's, it's the point of the in, in the game that I'm trying to present myself as going uh, going to be their leaders. I'm not going to spoil you the main plot of the game, but if you watch Black Mirror on Netflix, their episodes, this release at the time when Black Mirror kind of popular, I think it was, it, it releases on 2020, and the game just, it fits me, it, it suits me very, very well, because I love the shows, and the game kind of, play in between of that type of a story that type of a chaos in stories and of course it's uh, the setting is in the future like far far ahead in the future so you go on ahead and check that out if you want like the trailers or other people's uh, gameplays if you don't mind the spoilers because it's story heavy it's story based games so if you're looking at people gameplay probably you are going to get spoiled uh, while well, you're looking at that, I am actually looking up on Steam, uh, the developer of the game. It's Quantic Dream. And the review for their, their games mostly are overwhelmingly positive. Okay, what you're seeing right now on the screen is the, it's the, it's the, it's the opinions of the public right now towards me. I'm, I'm stepping up. I'm becoming the leader some agree some disagrees it will affect also their responses in the future and the progress of the story okay go, uh, getting back into quantic dream quantic dream also a developer that responsible for some of other narrative games good ones as well like heavy rain beyond two souls and all of these games you could try the demo first on steam just to make sure if you like this type of gameplay the type of stories they present and the graphics, of course, it will will it be uh, compatible to your devices or not? Because it is kind of heavy. It, it is kind of burdening for some PCs, probably. I'm not even sure if it's available on Steam Deck as in like uh, in, in best performance. And currently not on sale. It's uh, 420,000 Indonesian rupiah that converts to about 30 to 40 US dollars. So yeah I, I bought this game on sale so you might want to want to wishlist it for now if you're interested in in the game 
so every every npcs every characters they're using detailed uh motion captures and what's more interesting about it um that you could actually check it out after you beat the whole game and of course it's a high replay value so you could beat it over again with different uh, uh different 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 progress different type of stories because you might want to try different choices like in the in the in the beginning in, in the first playthrough you want to be this always good guy always um doing the right thing all that you thought maybe are the right thing and then the second time you want uh, to play the whole game you might want to take a different angle something like that and this game is perfect for that they have a uh, documentary that explains on their their vision in making this game the progress of making it the developers uh developers opinions about the games and about the game industry afterward so that i thought that was pretty cool and also there are collectibles that you could get if you are not being bothered by that i i kind of be bothered a little bit but it's kind of easy to do anyway if you are the type of completionist that want to get all the achievements to want to get all the collectibles then this game is actually pretty okay on that so here, here's another main character there's three of them and i probably we could get through all three of them in in this uh, in this video but well other 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 stuff that i want to talk about the the game is that um even though you get to experience it and then you didn't really like your choices you could always get back to the previous episode so it's kind of it's kind of giving you flexibility it's kind of giving you like well just do whatever you want uh just just do whatever it is that suits your personality or or the type of a person that you are and again um i really love the graphic for this game i really love the motions the the acting i mean it feels like you're in a movie or in a in a series but you are not 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 in a in the perspective that you are the god that kind of that kind of uh controls everything but you are the person that is presented to you and it kind of gets to you when um when the the person is the the person is trying to act and you kind of become the the main character itself okay right here it's a nut it's one of the mechanics that you could actually do in game it's not a fighting uh, mechanics it's just like what to do in certain type of situation and what you did previously kind of affect that did you pick up something did you do something did you learn about something did you explore some stuff that will unlock certain uh, choices or decisions and there's also a uh, qte qta qta quick time action yeah quick time action involved in this game so that's pretty fun. I think it's going to be better if you're using a controller or gamepad. But um, yeah, whatever suits you well, whatever suits you better. I mean, so yeah, here, here's the part that the gameplay is getting much, much more interesting. It's almost the end of the game. So I'm really sorry if you don't, don't want to see this, but you already did anyway. But it's not going to spoil your gameplay. I promise you that. Seriously, you could even you could even have the uh, quote unquote bad ending even before the game ends and this is the third main character uh the other characters that i play is a uh this lady and carrying this little kid i i, I kind of forgot the part of the story where I, oh wait wait never mind never mind i'm not going to spoil you once again but go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below if you played this game before and if you are in the same boat as me or if you dislike it that's even better i really want to know your opinion about it because i thought this was again a narrative masterpiece anyone that played games should really try this at least once at least the demo go ahead and try the demo if you if you think that this type of game is not enjoyable it's not it's not a uh, it's not a good idea to play games go ahead and write it down in the comment section down below and also your opinions maybe about this game if you finished it if you tried it and you liked it because i might be distracted right now by my own gameplay and forget things that i meant to say because i don't know i don't really have notes for this game i just like it i played it for several hours let me check 
uh how long did i play at this game oh wait never mind i just did a 16.4 hours and i got about 33 achievements out of 44 on steam the game itself uh requires about almost 60 gigs right now to to be installed in your system so yeah it's it's not a it's not really a light game i mean you see the graphic i also played some narrative games not from quantic dreams like from square enix i think life is strange but that's another story for another video i guess i'm just gonna end it here once again i highly recommend this game this game really provides a lot of entertainment for me personally because I love movies, I love watching US television shows and I think the acting is on point on this game even though it's developed by a, a French uh, developer and, um, and, a game, and a game publisher so yeah, I highly recommend this game what I can say about the story is not what you think, it's never if you think of something you're, you're trying to guess the plot of the stories you're trying to uh probably this is going to be a, a plot twist after this it's going to be go yeah you could probably get some stuff right but i uh, assure you it will be satisfying to complete the whole game or at least complete one or two part of the stories uh, also this is another interesting part of the gameplay just before i wrap this up i mean you couldn't really fight uh, you couldn't have the actual the, the usual fighting mechanics that you could probably experience in RPG games or action adventure but it is still it's not a, it's not always a stealthy type of game like Assassin's Creed or stuff like that so I hope you enjoy this video and give sub or like if you do and I see you uh, in the other content thank you for visiting Varian